And this guy was also named. Inari. Okay. Wears the traditional long robes of the serviles, modeled after shaper robes. However, her robes are covered with food stains of varying ages. She is bustling about around her kitchen, preparing all manner of foodstuffs to feed the serviles of this hall. As she moves, she says, I am Inari. Welcome to my kitchen. You look hungry. I am hungry. Could I get some food? I would have to buy the food. Although I can also sell stuff. Although, unfortunately, stores only have a limited amount of gold before they run out. And it takes time to refuel. Or restock. Whatever. Fortunately, this is only 12 coins, so... There. Now you have 12... Now you have a gemstone. Yay! What do you serviles eat? What does anyone eat? Mostly vegetables, grown here and foraged. Some bread, some meat from the orcs we raise, and all of it raised or found by us with no shape or help. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to give you an awakened lecture there. <laughs> it sounds like you were hard at work. Oh yes, I don't cook for all of the serviles, but I cook for all who, have been, who haven't been mated, and that is enough to keep my days very busy. It would be much easier if my best knife hadn't been stolen. It was true steel, hardened by magic, a true shaper artifact. I would pay well to have it back. But, oh well, a brigand probably took it. Hmm. I wonder if we will have a chance to find that dagger. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, say no more, say no more. I. And in here... Protus Blade. Hmm. Scary name. This servile is as muscular as a thod. She is a massive creature, all the more remarkable when you consider that serviles were not made for feats of strength. She notices how surprised you are by her physique. I am Broadus of the Vakiri Blade. I defend the serviles here from all threats. She puts extra emphasis on the all. If you mean us peace, I welcome you on behalf of myself and the Awakened. You are a blade? What does that mean? It means that I defend the serviles here from all threats. I am the leader of the guard, and the first to fight. And, with all the threats we have faced recently, I am kept very busy. What sort of threats do you face? There are the rogue creations. They are all around. They appeared recently, mysteriously, and they plague us. Leader Kobar can tell you more about them if you are interested. There are also the bandits. They are extra weight in a load too heavy to bear. I can help you with your struggles. We hope that, when you shapers return, you could help us. But do not think your help will make us willingly return to servitude. There is a tribe of rogue servile bandits to the north. They are strong fighters and cunning. They raid us and take our food and weapons and wealth. They do not kill, but they take our food. This we do not need. End their raids. If you have to kill them all to do it, so much the better. I can't spare the casualties, but you have the powers of a shaper. You should be able to destroy them with no difficulties. How else may I help you? You notice that Brodus wears a massive steel sword at her side. It probably belonged to a guardian once. It's in beautiful condition. You defend against all threats? Even me? I do not believe that you wish to threaten us. I am not some taker to believe that the shapers are always evil. But be warned. If you threaten us, your powers will not dissuade us from acting against you. You said that you were awakened? Tell me about it. I should not. I believe it with all my heart, but that doesn't mean that I am a good teacher of it. Talk to Sensia. She's the best among us, explaining the path. Well, we did just speak to Sensia. Walk around this building. Don't mind the gulp. Apothecary, uh, okay. Nice to see they have an apothecary. This servile's robe has been heavily stained, and in places dissolved. He is surrounded by the tools he used to make helpful po to make useful potions and powders. Even for this village, this is odd. These sort of magical workings are reserved for shapers alone. The servile bows to you. He doesn't seem ashamed or worried. 
Welcome, Shaper. Welcome at last. I am Ham. Welcome to my home. His name is Ham. A servile named Ham. Why isn't he raising the orcs? <sighs> you know how to make potions? How? Well, I am glad you asked. When you Shapers left, you left behind many things. This was long ago. We have had many years to study your writings and artifacts. We had no choice. It was a matter of survival, after all. You should be proud to have achieved so much. Ham beams with pride. I am so grateful that you think so. Though I am awakened, I still have a great deal of respect and admiration for your kind. Thank you for that respect. Where do you find our artifacts? Why, they were all over. He points to the box in the corner. I found that in some ruins recently, but I can't get the lock open. We awaken believe in fair trades. If you can find a way to get that box open, I would gladly pay you for your time. I am sure you could use more supplies. I could use some more supplies. Let's see. Healing pot, and yeah, various potions, and a living tool. Living tools are actual living organisms. They have several long, thin tentacles, which a skilled shaper can manipulate to open or repair mechanical devices. They are delicate, though, and generally expire after only one use. Hmm. Oh well. And, of course, all this stuff will likely be taken. It is held shut, and we need a living tool to open it. Eh. Maybe I should buy one. A robe. Hmm. Should I buy one? Nah. Let's see if we can find one around town. If we do, hey! We'll get it open. Learning halls. All seekers of wisdom may come in. Alright then. We seek wisdom! Lots of wisdom! We wish to know everything! Know all the things! Big hall. These are the ruins of another shaping hall. Shapers worked here to be- okay. We already know that, but... This is... Learned Pinner, the other man- the other person we've heard so much about. You meet a very old servile. One of the oldest you've ever seen. They are made to live for a very long time, and this one is definitely trying to set a record. She is stooped and withered. She must be well over a hundred. When she sees you, she has to exert a great effort to keep from breaking down. She is clearly overwhelmed with emotion. She stares up at you with awe, as if her god has stepped down to earth to face her. Maybe it has. W welcome, Shaper. I, I am Learned Pinner. Welcome to my home. Welcome back, at last. Why do you have the word learned before your name? It is a mark of respect for my people. I have been alive for many, many years, and I know much history. I will share it with you if you want. Your kind has been away for very long. Why is Susia Island barred? Why was it abandoned? We do not know. Your kind left two centuries behind. They left behind us serviles. They did not tell us why they left. I have an idea, though, of where you might get a clue of why the isle was abandoned. Tell me more. Where should I look? To the north of here, there is a large ruin. I think it was once a school where your kind learned their arts. Such a place would have a servant mind, and that mind might have been told more of why Susia was abandoned. Go there, and see if you can learn anything from the servant mind. Be careful, though. There are old creations in there. If there weren't, I would have gone and looked myself. Who lives on this island? We serviles occupy most of this island now. Our history is not an interesting one. We live. We grow our crops. It took many years and many great losses to learn how to live for ourselves. But we managed. Lately, though, we have been joined on this isle by many rogue creations. We don't know where they came from, but they make our lives very difficult and dangerous. Still, we are surviving. Why is everyone so in awe of me? She seems confused. Y you are one of our creators. You made us serviles and you can make us disappear. All we have and are, we owe to you. Your disappearance has been difficult for us, and not all of us know how we should treat you. 
Well, it looks like you are doing very well for yourselves here. I have no plans to interfere. She looks very pleased. I am sure many here will be relieved to see it. For some, your arrival has been the cause of fear. In addition to love, of course. You are very kind. I require a boat to escape from this island. Do you know where I can find one? You should find and speak with Leader Kobar. If anyone here would know of that, he would. Unfortunately, he won't give us information unless we help him. I have found some very strange artifacts on this island. Do you know anything about them? I think you mean the canisters. The large glass cylinders with the glowing matter inside. I have some of the fragments of them in the back room. They were created by the shapers here before they left. What are they for? I have never seen one before. We know that the shapers made them here on this island. We serviles do not use them. To do so kills us instantly. We tend to fear your shaper creations. We don't do anything with them. I have used one. It changed me. Made me more powerful. Are they dangerous? I do not know. I see nothing unusual about you. If you use more of them, I can look at you and see if I see a change. Well, well, we don't have any informa information that will really help us, like why this island was barred or abandoned or anything like that. We do now know of a place that we can look. Here. This is an old Shaper book. The Serviles have very reverently placed it here and taken care of it for many years. The mere fact that it belonged to the Shapers makes it incredibly valuable to them. They must not realize that it is just an old ledger. The records, budget, and inventories were within were probably useless even before the island was abandoned. It doesn't matter, though. All that matters is that it belonged to the Shapers. Same one there, and same one there. So, they reverently took care of pointless records. Ooh! A dagger, a tunic, and a gemstone. Nobody's looking, so... And... no notice, so... I took it without anyone seeing. Yes, yes, I know! I am evil! I have to do at least a little evil to keep this interesting! I'm a good person, but come on! Here's the canister remains. And more canister remains. No actual canisters. Oh well. They would be useful. They give us power. They let us create a... They let us create fireballs. And fioras. And... Heal us! Oh well. Maybe we'll find more elsewhere.